Hello, welcome to this episode of this Bernie's Expo session. Joining us tonight is Katrina. How are you doing? Good. How are you, Bernard? Doing well. Doing well. So, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you? Uh, where did you drive from? So I came from the South Shore, East okay. Bridgewater, about an hour. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What what line of work do you do? So I drive a school bus during the day, cool. and then I bartend here and there during the night. Cool. Yeah. How how did you get into uh, driving a school bus? That's so cool. My dad's a veteran. He's been doing it for over a decade, so he, oh, wow. he kind of got me in the door, yeah, oh, wow. to get my CDL. Well, what what kind? Of, tell us a story. Like, what's the what's the strangest thing happened in your? Oh, the strangest thing? I don't know. Well, something. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to talk. About oh yeah, yeah, it's the confidential. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely interesting. I can say that there oh, are good yeah. days. There are bad days. Do the do the kids behave or do they like go on a ride? So, there's always a few that are a little difficult, but for the main part, it's not so okay. bad. But it's, you know all the kids by name. Most of them, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's difficult because I drive for a city, so there's a lot of kids on e each route. I do high school, middle, and elementary. High school too. Yeah. So. Can they just play. go to school? Eh, they could. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know. Come on, some. I, I just, they're too old to be on school. I don't know, man. Uh, I guess I, maybe maybe in the in where you live, the space is a lot wider. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you there's thousands just take of the kids. Bus yeah. To school, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Well, when I was in high school, I had to uh, ride the ride the bus. Yeah. But that was many 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 years moons ago. Many yeah. years ago. <laughs> Not so far. Yeah. Not so so long ago. So, what would you like to work on tonight? With um. Your well, I think sleeping. I have some sleeping problems. Okay. Um, I struggle with sleep paralysis, so that's really scary. Um, mm -hmm. And then just kind of nightmares, always nightmares. I don't have, like, nice sleep. It's scary sleep, yeah. So I'd like to sleep better, I guess, would be my main thing. Okay. Um, so we will only talk about things that you feel comfortable to talk about. So I know sometimes when we talk about nightmares, it could be a little bit difficult. So you don't have to share everything. Okay. Um, just, just you know, just speak to whatever you are comfortable in. in yeah. In talking for sure. about. Yeah. Um, so when was the last time uh, this happens and was it a problem? Um, I would say last night even, I had a nightmare. Most of my dreams are always someone or something trying to kill me or chase me, so that's great. But <laughs> um, last night, it was like multiple beings, I can't even explain it. I was at like my parents' house where I grew up, and they were all trying to kill me. And I was like in the backyard, so it was pretty scary. And I was running away, and I went into this building, and I saw my nanny, who has been deceased for over 10 years. So that was a little frightening in itself. And then I woke up, and it was like 3 a.m., and I was just like, just startled, obviously. Luckily, I didn't have paralysis at that time, because that's even worse when you just feel like something's in the room and you can't move. Okay. So it's a little difficult. Um, now, if, if it... If it doesn't bother you too much, could you share a time when you experience paralysis? Just, I guess that maybe just to walk through what with it feels our audience. like. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, it happens randomly. Um, in the winter, I feel like it happens more for some reason. I don't know if it's just the season, like how it's dark earlier. It's depressing, you know. But it just feels like. I'm in a dream, and I think in my dream I'm waking up. So I think I'm waking up, but then. I'm in a dream again, so then I think I'm waking up again, and then I'm just laying in my bed and it's pitch black and I'm trying to scream and I'm trying to move and I can't get anything out, and in my head I'm screaming to my boyfriend because he's normally sleeping right there, but I can't actually get anything out of my mouth and it feels like there's like some malevolent force like weighing my chest down, like I can't breathe, I can't move, so it's pretty terrible, <laughs> it's pretty scary. Could yeah. you describe that um, malevolent? Is that the, the word? Uh, like an evil or bad, okay. bad force, yeah. Maybe could you describe that if, what it if feels you're like... okay to talk about it? Um... Well, I mean, it, it just feels like there's something that's not welcome in my room. Like, I don't know if demonic would be the word. It just feels like something 
dark, like a shadow is like over me and it's trying to like pull my soul out or like hold my chest down. It's just like a really scary feeling and I can't move or breathe. It feels like I can't breathe. And I mean... And, and how long have you been using those words to describe? Um, probably at least four years, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. Is, is there, um, have you thought about the choice of words or did it just come to you? For like the word, uh, yeah. just like using malevolent? Right, right. I, I guess I just, it's like the perfect definition, like an evil, scary feeling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and what exactly is the sensation? Um, just not being able to move. Um, it's like okay. you can feel your your heart beating so fast, but it you can't get anything out. So it's just a terrifying feeling, I guess. Okay. So when you use the word malevolent and demonic, do you feel that you have control of how you feel? Is this, or maybe it's just a way to describe it's more how like the feeling you don't of what's... have any control. Yeah, it's just like, because I can't move, it just feels like something bad is there. And it's like okay. stopping me from being able to move okay. or to say anything. And I mean, in the research I've done like online, it always says like, just kind of give in and try and like fall back asleep. But when you're in that moment and you can't get a word out, it's really terrifying when okay. you feel like something is holding you down. So. Okay. Well, it is not uncommon. Yeah. The experience. Um, sometimes. Um, now, for those of you who have medical training, you're going to write me a long email and tell me how wrong I am at this. But um, so, like, your brain actually this is actually a safety switch mm -hmm. from you acting out your dream. Yeah. So like you don't mm. want yeah so like there was actually a a a you can actually see in a brain scan where the part of the brain was disabled because during like the uh, REM like this the sleep cycle is like being interrupted and right right so yeah. so you just woke up a little bit too fast yeah and like my muscles right. are still not right so so just you're, you're still being protected by a a something that is very natural and physiological mm -hmm. so so. So I can't actually hurt myself. That's why my yeah. body won't move. Right. Because my brain isn't connected to that. Right. And okay. then, and then, yeah. So and 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 you have to change your respiration very quickly when you wake up, and then your brain has to switch because when you're awake, you have to breathe differently. You use oxygen differently. Mm -hmm. So that will cause your heart to to beat faster. Yeah. And, and your, it's like your, feeling your it. Yeah. You have to like breathe faster. Because your brain is there, but your body is to, to like, get oh. more oxygen to to your muscles. Mm -hmm. So in a way, if, when you look at it this way, do you feel that there's more, um, I guess, a biological explanation than a a a I guess I'm okay. So I'm not putting words in your mouth, but like more. No. When you say it is demonic and and so when you use those words to describe it, it takes the control out of um, the 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 realm of scientific reasons. But yeah. once you see it as a physiological response, do you feel that you have more control of the um, of your reaction. I feel like I've gotten better at coping with it by right. acknowledging what it really is and okay. you know trying to watch like documentaries or videos to try and understand it more. Um, I definitely think having a better understanding and the knowledge behind it right. and what it really is right. is helpful because I have been able to like fall back into sleep you right. know I try and tell myself it's okay, like just take deep breaths right. or try to, even if you feel like you can't, just try and close your eyes. Like I just try and keep my eyes closed and go back into it right. and like lower my heart rate. But in the moment, sometimes it's just so scary when right. you wake up and you have that feeling or right. like you're half awake. Right. And just not being able to, to speak or move is just like, right. it kind of takes away everything that you know. 
Right. And it's just a little scary. At that moment, it is, it's hard to remind yourself of, of a scientific paper that you read. Yeah, because it just feels like something right. is in the room and I'm like, I can't move, I can't speak. Like, what is this? What's holding me down? What's going on? Right. Like, But you're just waking up, so you're startled. But, yeah. Right. So so from now on, may, maybe if you can like, think about it in a different way. Try and remind you myself. You feel that you have more control so you don't feel like you're completely out of control right <laughs> yeah i mean i'm trying <laughs> okay i'll continue to try and um how long has this been a problem for you um i mean as long as i can remember even since like elementary school i had issues with it Okay. So it's been going on for a very long time, but it's very sporadic. It's not like, you know, it happens every single day. Luckily, it happens like once in a while. Like it could happen once a year, or once every few months. Like it's there's no knowing. So. Oh, but I was just going to ask. So has the, has these situations happens more frequently, leading up to today, or less frequently leading up to today? Um less frequently i mean it hasn't happened in a couple of months so okay yeah um and and how do you usually sleep at night um it can go either way i feel like my sleep is just so sporadic some nights i sleep really soundly i think diet and exercise make a huge difference like if i've been eating healthy and exercising every day i get a much better night's sleep than if i haven't had time to exercise or if i haven't been treating my body the right way then i feel like it's much more likely that i'm going to have a bad night's sleep but i mean that's just did you do you work shift or do you sleep the same hours every night um i try and sleep the same hours every night my hours are the same monday through friday so okay yeah but I think I mess with myself because sometimes if I don't get enough sleep, because during the weekend, you know, I'll want to sleep in and then that kind of messes me up. So I just need That's to. That's fine. Yeah, but. But should you budget the eight hours? I try. Okay. I try. <laughs> I go to bed at the time that it would be eight hours of sleep, but it takes me a while to fall asleep too. So. Okay. I try and lay in bed, you know, put the phone or any technology away like an hour before, read a book instead. Um, to try well, yeah, little sleep. like little things like you have like an eye mask. To... I do have an eye mask. I do. Okay. <laughs> and uh, my friend got it for me. Okay, those are nice. Yeah. Um, well, it's been widely proving that that you sleep better. Yeah. Because um, it's been research, actually, it was quite recently done that uh, the even with your eyes closed, you can still sense light around mm -hmm. your eyes. Yeah, um, for sure. They and were, sometimes your eyes are cracked a little bit when you're sleeping too, so... That's true. Or, or when you open your eyes in the middle of the night. Yeah. You know, you, the, the bright light won't take you out of the yeah. sleep. Um, there was actually a study that was done on, on blind people was able to tell the intensity of the light around them even though they can't see it. Oh, that's fascinating. And, uh, yeah, and, and also like the... So how, how wide is your eye mask? I mean, it's probably just about, it's right, like my okay. glasses, so, you know, so like, like this size, it just covers. So like the, the nerves right, around you, your eyes are also yeah, photosensitive. Yeah, the entire eye socket, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, you know the trick about wearing socks? No, what's the trick about wearing no. socks? So, um, so you wear gloves and socks? To bed? Yeah. Really? Because um, it's actually been researched for thoroughly. Um, that when you go to sleep, the first thing that would happen is that your body is going to draw temperature from the peripheral to your inside. Okay. So like you feel your fingers and feet are getting like colder. You know, I have and, terrible circulation to it. My hands, my toes are always cold. Okay. I do wear socks sometimes, but I've never thought to wear mittens. So like wear gloves and like wear something warm. Yeah. In the peripheral, or or if you can wear like a sleep cap. A sleep cap. It will make you look cool too. You know? Yeah, it'll be super cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that try. I'm sure, my it's, boyfriend it's a will give me crap for that. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I'm sure you can get like comfy socks. Yeah, I can get some of them. I have some fuzzy like, socks. Like just to keep comfy. the toes warm and keep the hands warm. Yeah. And, and see if that helps you sleep. Yeah. 
Okay. Look at that track for sure. Right. So um, if everything could happen perfectly with a hypnosis session today, how would you see you differently? I guess just hoping to have a good night's sleep. Not having nightmares or sleep paralysis would be fantastic. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to give you too much to do, but... <laughs> Well, I think um, so. The point of what we're trying to accomplish is that we're moving toward an end, yeah, or, or toward a process. Mm -hmm. And when you're moving in the right direction, then you're naturally not moving in the wrong direction, right? Yeah. Like you don't need to find out where not to go in order to go. Yeah. Somewhere. You just need to go know where to go and point your car in the right way. I don't know. So. Let's say everything works out. Let's try this again. Everything works out tonight without thinking about the negative part. How would you describe a good night's sleep? Oh, going to bed at 9, falling asleep by 9.30, waking up at 5, feeling energized and ready to start the day, and making myself breakfast like I do every day, and just enjoying it and having my cup of coffee, and just feeling already like rejuvenated and ready to start okay i don't know Did um so the, the actually it does and actually okay. for for those of you who are watching um, my my expertise is in um, biopsychology of sleep and uh, it's actually like the easiest thing to do with hypnosis oh, it's is the, to help it's people the, sleep. It's the easiest thing, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I should have come to you normal, 10 years ago yeah, now, yeah, huh, no, Normally, we have like a lot more to talk about. <laughs> okay, well... Mm. It's kind of like... It's kind of like, you know, just driving. I don't know, it's kind of, I don't know, like... like going on like a boat trip and I don't have to organize the party just take you to yeah you can just do it <laughs> I don't yeah just take you to point A to point B and that's it you know I don't have to do a lot of things in between well that's good it's easy for you too then. so yeah um well we'll talk more about this later on we're running a little bit of short of time um so I want you to just uncross your legs Yes. Katrina has been watching our show. Yes, I she, have. She actually knows the drill pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the next step? Um, okay, uh, yeah, you know, since you're watching. <laughs> um, yeah, just hold out your hands like this with your palm facing each other. I want you to just focus on the space in between here. Okay. And I want you to imagine that there's a piece of magnet. Can I touch you? Sure. Uh, a piece of magnet right here and right here. And the Two pieces of magnets are getting stronger and they're pulling your hands ever so closer and closer and closer. And you can feel this magnet getting stronger and stronger and stronger. That's right. Just feel the attraction getting stronger and stronger and stronger. At some point, you'll find the center of your palm pushing into each other. That's right. And just feel this magnetic pull getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And you can feel the center of your palm pushing closer and tighter and tighter and tighter into each other. Getting tighter and tighter and tighter. That's right. Tighter and tighter. And just push it as far out as possible. That's right. Arm stiff, 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 stiff. Look up here and sleep. That's right, just relax. That's right, just relax your arm, relax your joints, and just let go. That's right. Just relax. That's right, just... Just let go, let go of all the tension. That's right. Loose, limb, and relax. That's right. Arm lay loose, limp, and relax. 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 That's right. Just, it's okay. Just let go. Let go. Let go. Just let it hang. Let it hang right there. That's right. 
loose, limp, relax, loose, limp, and relax. That's right. That's right. Just let go. Let go. Let go. Just let go of all the tension. Just relax. Let go like a wet dishcloth. Just like a ragdoll. A ragdoll has no bones. It's just like a wet cloth. Heavy, loose, and then heavy, loose, and then just let all the tension go. Whatever stress that you're holding on in your joints, in your muscles, in your fingers, just let it go. That's right, just let it go. I want you to imagine yourself on a calm, quiet beach. That's right. Good. I want you to imagine yourself on a calm, quiet beach. And you can still feel the warm ray of the sun on your cheek. That's right. I still feel the warm ray of the sun on the center of your body. That's right. You can feel the warm ray of the sun on your shoulders, on your knees, on the center of your body. And you can feel the warm, moist sand on your back the back of your neck and even in between your toes you can feel the sand slightly moist but really warm and you can just let yourself sink into this warm comfortable sensation just let go let go let go and with each passing moment you find yourself more immersed in this beautiful scenery and on the distance, you can see the ocean waves caresses against the shore. Good. And you can hear the sound of the seagulls in the background. Good. And you can hear the sound of the children playing in a very distant way. And you can even smell the ocean breeze, so calm and gentle. And just let your mind and body dissolve in this calm, quiet place. So count backwards from five to one. With each number, you find yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the back of the chair, deeper and deeper into hypnosis, deeper and deeper into the scenery. Five. This feels so heavy. Just let your entire body sink deeper and deeper. Four. Three. Two. Good. One. And sleep. Good. Whatever your tension that you're holding on, you can just let go right now. Good. 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 Now, Katrina, I'm going to count from one to three. When you hear the number three, you can open your eyes, you feel great. But as soon as you hear my voice, and only my voice says sleep now, you find your eyelids getting very heavy. You find your eyes slowly rolling to the top of your head. And you will just feel this sleepy sensation washing over you. You will close your eyes and go ten times deeper into hypnosis, feeling ten times as deep and Relax as before, ten times as comfortable. 
one, two, three, eyes open. So how does it feel to be hypnotized? Oh, it feels good. <laughs> oh, yeah. How long was the drive from uh, Bridgewater? Um, it was like an hour. Like an hour? Yeah. Was there a lot of traffic? There was a little bit on um, 95, but oh, other than that, it wasn't sleeping. so bad. Let yourself go. And deeper, and deeper, and deeper. One, two, three, eyes open. So, uh, where, where did you go to college? Um, I went to Bay State okay. on Newberry Street. And what did you study? Hospitality and business. Sleep now. Deeper and deeper. Oh, what a way to. Good. Just feeling so relaxed now. All the tension is gone. That's right. All the tension is gone. And just feel all the negativity slowly drifting out of your body right now. And use your unconscious mind to find all the negative thoughts and emotions that you may be holding on. Just let go, let go, let go. Let it dissipate into the universe and just feel a ton of brick is being lifted from your back the back of your neck or your head or your eyelids. That's right. In the past, you may have to hold on to some negative thoughts, emotions, or some tension. You no longer need them anymore. And you can just let it go. Just like letting a rock go. Or just letting a piece of a heavy object that you've been carrying around. You can just let them go right now. You no longer need them. Just send it back to the universe where it came from. That's right. And just feel yourself dissolving into a ball of white light. Emerging yourself into this ball of healing energy. And just let this white light flow through you. From now on, whenever you go to sleep, and you find yourself being able to sleep through the night, you have many happy dreams. And in those dreams, you will find yourself having all the joy and delight that you can ever experience. And whenever you sleep, you sleep through the night. Sleep very deeply. Sleep very soundly. And in the morning when you wake up, you feel very refreshed, focused, able to carry through your day. And you just let this new you go on and on and on. Every night, as soon as your head hits the pillow and when you get comfortable, you can just drift off into a very happy, restful sleep where all the tension and stress of the day will be dissolved. You can go on and sleep through the night and wake up happy, focused, and energized in the morning. And this energy will continue to be with you long after this session is over. On and on and on. Good. Now, Katrina, I'm going to count from 1 to 10. When you reach number 10, you can come back to this room. Feeling great, wide awake, feel great. One two, three. Just feel a sense of happiness, joy, and optimism flowing through you. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a deep breath in. Nine. Whenever you're ready, feeling happy, joy, and delighted. Ten. Come back to this room feeling great. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Feels great, doesn't it? It does. Feels really good. This is uh, Ted Mathis Bernie Six Ball Session. Join us next week on CCTV Channel 9, Cambridge. All right, we're after the show here with Katrina. How are you doing? I feel great. 
All right. So um, tell us, how does it feel as you were going into hypnosis? Do you remember your hands getting closer together? And... I do. I felt like I was like almost restraining a little bit at first. Okay. But then I just sunk. Okay. And it felt really nice. Yeah. Letting go. Did you feel your hands getting closer or do you remember that part? I do. I okay. remember that. Yeah. Do you, how, how does it feel? Um, if you can describe how your hands become magnetized, then, and does it is it like a natural feeling when it when it yeah it's it's pushed a, together? it's a little bizarre it's almost like it came naturally like they just kind of went in together until okay. they touched and then right there was like my palm didn't want to go completely but okay. it did <laughs> okay yeah and do you remember going into hypnosis? Yeah, vaguely I do. Um, do you feel a very fast process or was it like a, a slowly developing process? I feel like it was a little slow, like when you're talking about the beach, I started like hearing the waves before you even said that and okay. I just envisioned myself at first, it was weird, it was almost like a, a beach I've never been to, like the sand was so soft and the water was so clear and the sky was pink and then it was just, uh, it was so nice. <laughs> Do you remember anything before the beach? Um, Do you remember me um, shaking your hand or your arm? Or... Um, yeah, I knew okay. a little bit, yeah. Do you feel, how does it feel when I do that? I mean, it just made me feel really calm. But okay. Like, honestly, like, safe without, okay. which I was a little skeptical, you know? But okay. it just, it came naturally, it felt okay calming yeah relaxing okay. and um could you describe how do you remember waking up and then going back into hypnosis i woke up and just felt like really energized and then just right back and then okay. it was a little weird yeah coming in and out of it like that do you feel how does it feel as you go back into hypnosis after waking up very briefly just feeling calm again i mean i felt calm waking up too but it felt nice yeah Okay. And uh, how do you feel right now? I feel good. Okay. Surprisingly, normally I would have been in like 30 minutes, so I'm like, I got to ride home, woo woo. <laughs> listen to some music, yeah. And, uh, and, and as you were coming here today, is this what you would have been expecting a hypnosis session to be? Well, I mean, I watch enough videos to get an idea. Yeah, but... Katrina is a fan, so yeah. <laughs> but no, I was so excited to be a part of it and to experience it myself, and hopefully okay. I can come back again. But but do you feel, but is this what you expect to feel as you, I guess, like watch the video? I think it YouTube? was probably better than I expected, honestly. Because okay. I, I feel like seeing everyone say how relaxed they felt, but then actually ex like experiencing it for yourself and feeling that relaxed feeling and just kind of escaping for a minute. Do you feel more relaxed than the people that you saw on the video? I mean, I can't really say that. I don't know, I don't know how they felt. <laughs> Not them, but... Do you feel, as you were looking at them, do you feel the same? Do you think you're feeling the same thing? They yeah, I feel? think so. Okay. Yeah. I would say so. Okay. Well, would you recommend this to your friend? Oh, for sure. I'm going to try and get you to do a couple of my friends. All right. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, this is Katrina. Let's get Thank you so much. Hopefully, we can see you back in a few weeks. I'm sure you will. Okay.